Well, don't be surprised if you soon see school bus advertisements in the Wabash Valley. We first told you about this rolling billboard trend in our Education Watch 10 series last week. You told us what you thought about these ads. And tonight, News 10's Kate Green tells us if local schools are thinking outside the bus. It's not unusual to see this driving by in some states. But as for Indiana and Illinois, advertisements haven't made it here just yet. Vigo County Superintendent Danny Tanu says they've pitched the idea. When it comes down to can you uh, sell $50,000 worth of ads and save a teaching position and it's done uh, tactfully and professionally, I'm for those types of things. But the thing is, Indiana doesn't allow advertisements on school buses, which means lawmakers would have to pass a law allowing this. And even if it was passed, Sullivan County school officials say they still have concerns. We're trying to downplay uh, soft drinks and fast foods and so on. You know, it's just something you'd have to consider with, you know, who could advertise and what could be advertised. He also thinks advertisements could cause crashes as other drivers may be distracted by this on the road. But research shows no accidents have been reported because of school bus advertisements. As for it happening here in Illinois. It's an interesting idea and, and one that I'm sure we'd consider if somebody is interested in uh, putting some big bucks up to advertise something. He says advertising is something already being done at schools. If you drive around uh, baseball fields or you look at some uh, gymnasiums in the area, uh, different businesses uh, and vendors will advertise. But before now it can get placed here, Illinois legislation will also have to pass a law allowing it, something this state representative may consider. I'm not saying we're going to do it, but there's no reason not to. In the Wabash Valley with photojournalist Nick DeBesney, Kate Green, News 10. So now the question is whether lawmakers in Indiana and Illinois will pitch the idea and allow schools to add on these savings.